the Lord will come and he will not delay. He will illumine what is hidden in darkness and reveal himself to all the nations. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, all. Good morning, Father. Thank you. We are in the new season of Advent, and that's the reason you see the priest is wearing purple color and the deacon also and you see the altar is uh, clothed with the altar cloth of purple color too. So everything comes in a new celebration as we start a new season, the liturgy. The liturgy means the way we worship. So the worship in the way in the season of Advent as we are waiting for Jesus. So let us make ourselves that we are faithfully waiting and praying for Jesus to come so that we can be pure and be saved. Let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Prepare our hearts, we pray, O Lord our God, by your divine power, so that at the coming of Christ, your Son, we may be found worthy of the banquet of eternal life and ready to receive heavenly nourishment from His hands, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples a feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy rich food and pure choice wines. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples. The web that is woven over all nations, he will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth. For the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God to whom we looked to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pressures, he gives me repose. Besides restful waters, he leads me and refresh my soul. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. He guides me in the right path for the name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are the side with your rod and your staff that gives me courage. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. You spread the table before me. In the sight of my foes, you unite my head with oil, my cup overflows. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. 
All goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. I shall live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Behold, the Lord comes to save his people. Blessed are those prepared to meet him. Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. For you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, went up on the mountain, and sat down there. Great crowds came to him, having with them the lame, the blind, the deformed, the mute, and many others. They placed them at his feet, and he cured them. The crowds were amazed when they saw the mute speaking and the deformed made whole, the lame walking and the blind able to see. And they glorified the God of Israel. Jesus summoned his disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd, for they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. I do not want to send them away hungry, for fear that they may cl collapse on the way. The disciples said to him, where could we ever get enough bread in this deserted place to satisfy such a crowd? Jesus said to them, how many loaves do you have? Seven, they replied, and a few fish. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then he took the seven loaves and the fish, gave thanks, broke the loaves, and gave them to his disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets full. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. How many breads you can eat at a time? One. How many breads you can eat? Two. How many breads you can eat? One, two. So she's thinking about it. How many breads you can eat? How many bread you can eat at a time? One, okay. So mostly we can eat one bread. So, if we all are given a bread, we need a lot of bread, you know. And we need to prepare ahead of time that because at least we have to give at least one bread. For some it may be two, okay. But if you, if you are here, maybe we are like 100 of us or 50 of us. We need at least 50 or 100 breads. But you just listen to the gospel. Jesus saw the people and there were more than 5,000. Just men alone. There may be a lot of women too. Some children too. So Jesus multiplies. He makes a miracle with how many breads he had. 
Only seven breads. Seven breads they gave to Jesus, and Jesus said, make people to sit down so that I can give them some food. So he prayed to God, his father, and he multiplied those seven breads, the huge amount of bread, lot of bread. And those are all people were fed by the miracle of Jesus. When we do little things with great faith, that becomes a miracle. If you do little things with great faith, praying to God, oh God is going to help me. And that becomes a great miracle. So always we should remember, when you do little things with great faith, God makes it as a miracle. A person was praying one day so hard and there was a heavy kind of warning or big warning given to him that's going to be a heavy rain and huge flood is going to come the whole town. So he started to pray to God, God, you have to help me. You have to save me. I don't want to die in the flood. It's going to be huge water. So it rained, rained hard. The huge flood kind of almost running all, all over the, the town. So his house started to sing. So he was praying to God. God, you have to help me. You are my only hope. You can save me from this flood. And one group of people were going by board and they said, come on, come with us. And he said, no, I'm waiting for God to help me. And after a few hours, another group of people went by that side and they said, come on, we can help you. And he was almost to his nail, he was kind of struggling. He said, no, I can, I'm going to get help from God. He's going to help me. He was almost drowning into the water and another people, another group of people came by and they said, oh, we can save you, please come. And he said, no, God is going to help me. He said, he is going to help me. So he died. You know what happens? If you are drowning in the water, you're going to die. Huge amount of water. So when he goes to God and he asked to God, why you didn't save me? I thought you are going to help me. And God said, well, my dear child, I came to help you three times. I came to help you three times, but he said no. Then he realized, oh, what a stupid thing I did. That's what God tells us. He helps us so many times. But we think, no, I can do it. God has to say something. God has to do something big than I expect. No, God starts with small things. God does not do, he does not start with big things. He starts all things with small things. And he makes it bigger, great, miraculous. So we should expect that we will be given only little things and God will make it to be a great thing. So we have to pray and do little things every day. When I want to do something, when I want to achieve something, when I want to do something great, then I should start with little things in a small way. With great faith, I'm going to pray, but I'm going to do something for that. And God will make it as a great thing. So that's what this season of Advent calls us. This season is very small season, but very important season, Advent season. It calls us to do a great thing. This season opens up the salvation for the whole humanity. This season brings God into our humanity. This season of Advent makes us to be union with God for eternity. If that is so, let us start do little things with great faith.
With great faith, let us ask for God's graces. That nations at war lay down their weapons, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The church leaders strive to heal division and work for unity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are uprooted from their own country find welcome and protection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially from COVID, find a place at the heavenly banquet of the Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor souls in purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Jason Harris is being especially remembered at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty, loving Father, we thank you and praise you for all the gifts that you have given to us, especially to our school. And make us to be faithful to you as we do all things with your help, with great faith. Make us to be more blessed. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness which is the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and all cup of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God you. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness which is the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine in all cup human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may accept God Almighty, Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, O Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in the sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks, O Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation 
always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest. We who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, Lord God of our host, heaven and earth, full of your glory. Hosanna on the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna on the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts you pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly in his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim death, your death, O Lord, o Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles Thompson, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in our mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Vincent de Paul, our patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs eternal life, may praise and glory for you. 
for your son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, Nearity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on Amen. earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, for the kingdom the, the power and glory, and glory are yours Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with their world, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter, should enter under my roof. But only, only say the word, word my, my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. Amen.
Behold, our Lord will come with power will, and will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feast through Christ our Lord. Amen. So thank you all for, partic for participating at this Holy Mass. In special way, I would like to thank our sacristans, our lectors, and our altar servers. They did a wonderful job today, so let us give them a clap and appreciate it. You know, when you are at the Mass, 
uh, if you are an altar server, if you are sad Christian, if you are a lecturer, you can observe how others are doing, you know. You can see how they are doing, what are the things are being brought, or how they are reading, how do they make a bow, how do they make a genuflection. So this is a way that we learn from each other, you know. So I learned all these fr things from someone, many priests, and I'm able to do that. And you are going to learn something from other altar servers, lecturer, and sacristans. So you learn in a better way. So that helps us all to grow in good and in faith also. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Sir Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to the all prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls.